No matter where you live in the world, access to education is very important. But also what's equally important is the cost of that access and the cost of that education. Higher education is new for this Brazilian family. Reginaldo Jr. is in his first year at a top business school. His 45-year-old father just graduated with a history degree last year and got a job as a high school teacher. They are the first generation of Gonçalves to go to university. The easy access to university we have today didn't exist 25 years ago. It was much harder. The only way to pass was a tough admission test. And coming from a poor secondary education, it was just impossible. Other families like the Gonçalves aren't hard to find in this poor São Paulo neighborhood where they live. Over the last decade, there has been a surge in the number of Brazilians going to university for the first time. Many new private universities were founded or expanded on the government-created student loan and financing schemes for lower classes, so many people could go to university. But many Brazilians enroll in cheaper private schools, which are usually near the bottom of local education rankings. Only a few manage to get a place in a top public institution, like the University of São Paulo. And even these schools lag behind when it comes to international comparisons. There are no Latin American universities ranked among the world's top 100. The best in the region, the University of São Paulo, ranked 127th in the world on a list from topuniversities.com. On the Times Higher Education list from the UK, the two Brazilian universities didn't crack the top 200. The Chilean university didn't even have a place in the top 400. The Talent Shortage Survey, a pool of 40,000 employers in 42 countries, shows a severe shortage of top talent in Brazil, where 68% of the companies say they have problems in finding people with the right skills. Low-quality universities are a big part of the problem. Uh, even if you have so many that you today can say, I have a certification, I, I'm, I'm graduated, but this is not really connected to the quality of the course. Companies today invest uh, quite a lot to train people and try to create, together with university, some uh, courses that can really support the needs for the business. While Latin Americans may be benefiting from higher education, these surveys indicate the region overall may not be. For Latin America to be competitive in global economy, the quality of universities here must improve. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.